The Walewale constituency is located in the West Mampusi district of the northern region of Ghana. The district, which was formerly a part of Gambaga Nalerugu district, has an estimated population of at least 121,000, with a district capital sited in Walewale. Constituency are predominantly farmers. They grow cereals, grains, and vegetables. Its proximity on the Tamale Bogotanga Highway has made it a preferable destination for trading, while produce are transported to other parts of the country. The constituency has six senior high schools, one hospital, a polyclinic, a clinic, and chips compounds, some of which are yet to be completed. Motorbikes, tricycles and donkeys still remain the cheapest and convenient means of transport. Apart from the main Tamale Tanga Highway that passes through Walewale Township, which is in good state, other roads in the constituency require a facelift. Successive governments, according to residents, have not addressed the road infrastructure deficit in the constituency. They mentioned issues which will inform their choices in this year's election. Town is overcrowded everywhere, so we need we need town roads. We normally do our business on road road size, so if the town roads are not there, we can't get my stores to rent. Any time a very strong rain has come, water always pass here. If like since the bridges were there, so it will also help us. All our young men do not have jobs. Every time we don't get work. And we don't even know what we are going to, to, to work. Sometimes, when I look at even the politicians, sometimes they are cheating us. Me like this, I am going to vote for MPP. But I was not voting for MPP. When we have water shortage in this town, dry season like this, we are just struggling. We go to far places. There is no borehole. We can't even get water to drink. Now to talk of bathroom. That's our problem. Others spoke about the incidents of flooding due to poor drainage. When you come to the old station, when rain rains, all that place gets flooded, and then car cannot pass. And then when you are going to, we have some area where we call family. There is some brick there. When you are going to enter into that place, when rain rains, that place will also get flooded. Some constituents want all communities in the constituency to be connected to the national grid, although they admitted some work has been done to improve access to power. We are looking at our electricity. We get a lot of problems because they came and give us the permits. We are worried about it. You can go and buy 50C credit. Two reach one month, even two weeks, the credit will go through. This town, not all the areas that the electricity has gone to. We have one place that we call uh, Gurusufong. That place, the lighting system is not there. We have Kukwazu, the lighting system is not there. So we are pleading with NDC because they are in power. They should try as much as possible and fix them before we get to the election time. When they fix them and we we'll get to the election time, I will vote for NDC. The District Chief Executive of West Mamprosi says government is responsive to the needs of the constituents. Assembly have been able to provide a heavy vehicular parking bay. It's just at the finishing touches. Anytime soon, we are going to relocate all big and heavy trucks to the place. And anybody who visits by the rules that we are going to play them to make that place very neat. This year's elections is expected to be keenly contested among three candidates. Abdullah Abubakar of the National Democratic Congress, NDC, the incumbent Dr. Zagri Bambangi of the New Patriotic Party, MPP, and Abud Kwabena Yusuf of the People's National Convention, PNC. 
Ahead of this year's elections, analysts say Walla Walla is a swing constituency. In 2000's general elections, the People's National Convention won both the parliamentary and presidential polls there. In 2004 and 2008, the National Democratic Congress was the dominant political force in the constituency, winning the presidential and parliamentary polls. However, in 2012, the political pendulum swung in favor of the new patriotic party as a party won the parliamentary and presidential polls there. A number of interesting developments have happened in the lead-up to this year's elections. The parliamentary candidate of the National Democratic Congress, NDC, who is also the Northern Regional Minister, was a candidate for the People's National Convention, PNC, in the 2012 parliamentary elections. His appointment, according to the MPP, is a calculated attempt to maximize political gains. The MPP, however, stressed their candidate, Dr. Sagri Bambangi, will retain the seat. The MPP believes the influence of the vice presidential candidate of the party, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, who hails from the constituency, is key to their electoral gains. It's to vote for Dr. Sagar Bambang. Because this is the first time we have seen past MPs, NDC MP, PNC MP, and he is the third MP for the MPP to win this seat. We have seen his development. He's been trying, and secondly, he's not in ruling government, he's in opposition, but he used to manage. He used the common fund to help students. He used the common fund to pay people's school fees. And then every village for Wale Wale constituency, he managed to get them a one each bohole for the constituency. So that's why I'm just deciding to put him back to go to parliament. The NDC is unwavering in its quest to win the parliamentary contest stressing the party has invested in infrastructural development. Really, people are going to vote for people based on development, but not any other interest. Uh, I must say that the NDC has already won the seat because uh, in other past or in other regimes where they put in a project and then all of a sudden you see that the contractor have a case side. Honorable Abuba is seeing to it that the Wale Wale Gambaga Road is dear to his heart. So he's working around the clock to see to it that the contractor is on site always and to see to it that quality work is delivered. And again, uh, through his efforts, uh, you can see that the Wale Wale town rules, almost all the major rules in Wale Wale have been, uh, are being worked on. The Wale Wale constituency is one of the few constituencies where the dominance of the National Democratic Congress NDC and the new Patriotic Party MPP may not hold sway, mindful of the strong performance of the People's National Convention PNC in previous elections. Stay tuned to Election Command Center for the final outcome of results in the Wale Wale constituency.